Christmas came in with a bang in Colonial Williamsburg, where a fife and drum corps brought in the holiday spirit. And at nearby Bush Gardens Christmas Town, an eye-popping light show illuminates a German village. During the holiday season, the theme park turns into a winter wonderland, decorated with 11 million lights, making it one of the largest Christmas displays in North America. This mother and daughter say Christmas Town is magical. Everything's lit up and festive and bright and just makes you happy. It's really nice and fun. And there's a lot of things to do. Go on the train and look at the lights, and the lights are really pretty. This visitor enjoys Christmas Town's recreated European villages. Experiencing the different cultures, even though it's not you're you're not there, you feel like you're there. The different architecture and the food too. Here in this Irish pub, visitors are getting a dark beer called Stout. And in this old German village, the sweet smell of gingerbread brings people into a cookie shop. Colonial Williamsburg also feels like another place and time. Williamsburg became the capital of the Virginia colony in 1699. Some 18th century buildings have been restored, while others were reconstructed on their original foundation. Today, the town is a living historic museum. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, my friends. Christmas in Colonial Williamsburg was much simpler than it is today. Christmas was more a celebration of um, going to church and feasting, parties, dances. They would tuck holly sprigs in the window panes or some evergreen. In 1842, Williamsburg became the first town in the American colonies to have a decorated Christmas tree. A small tabletop tree decorated with gilded walnuts and balls surrounded by red gauze and lit with candles. Today, this Christmas tree in the Folk Art Museum contains 2,000 handmade ornaments inspired by pieces in the collection. I see this. It's up, all the way up there. This object is uh, traced from a piece in the collection that was cut by a woman who was born without any arms, and she cut with her teeth and her toes. As these holiday iron basket crescents burn while the fife and drums play on a colonial street, Visitors are invited to think about a simpler time and the roots of America's enduring Christmas traditions. Deborah Block, VOA News, Williamsburg.